Of course, it wouldn't be capping off 2023 without at least one Pokemon list, and trust me, there's probably more coming. Um, but this is going to be the top 10 Pokemon figures I actually picked up in 2023. That's not figures that came out in 2023, just figures that I personally bought in 2023. These are all figures that I liked a lot, but they didn't quite make the list. But going forward, we're going to see which figures really did resonate with me with one of my big three collections. Of course, we've already done wrestling, we've already done DC, now we can look at Pokemon. Number 10 just had to be this Jazzwares Matang. Um, it's weird to get good figures of middle evolutions, it's something we've never really had before. But now, thanks to Jazzwares, we're actually getting a handful of them. We're of course getting a really nice Metagross sometime this December, so looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I'm really glad to have Matang, a very unique figure, very different. I love his acrylic stand, I love his general look, and he came from a pretty solid 3-pack. Every time we do these lists, I always have to make sure to point out that these aren't just figures that came out in 2023. Case in point, I finally got the original Tommy Polyrath, and gotta say, I adore this guy. Poliwhirl is always going to be one of my low-key favorites. Poliwrath is basically just Poliwhirl with more fingers. But I really like this guy. My one complaint is he does have a little bit of a hard time balancing, but it is a really solid figure from the early days of Pokemon, and one that has definitely made my collection all the better. Look, problems or no problems, this Garchomp had to make the list. I don't like that he can't balance all that well. He does have some awkwardness to his proportions, and he's going to be replaced as soon as that Trainer Select Garchomp comes out, which looks phenomenal. But for the time being, this is the only to scale Garchomp I kind of have in the collection, and it's a good one, even though he does have some issues. I remember how blown away I was with Jazzwares and their trainer select Articuno, and even though the other legendary birds didn't quite strike me the same way, their Lugia is pretty goddamn impressive. It's so great to have the Lord of the Legendary Birds in a huge figure format who is properly majestic and menacing and maybe just slightly too big to comfortably put on a shelf, but you know, that's fine because it's Lugia. I would love a Ho-Oh to go with this Lugia, but truth be told, we're probably never going to get that. Then again, we are getting all the legendary beasts right now, so maybe, fingers crossed, because I would love to have my first two box legendaries in a proper figure format that really shows off their size. Giving some love to the Hasbro Pokemon lines, this Graveler is just way too silly. Watch this. And then he comes back up, goes down, comes up. Like, seriously, why give this good a figure to a Pokemon like Graveler? But it's so phenomenal. It's the type of thing we just don't get in Pokemon anymore, and to be fair, there's a reason for that. We have literally over a thousand of them now, but... I do really enjoy this Graveler for what it is, and it's a nice little reminder of when it used to be a little bit more common to see lesser known Pokemon get the big impressive figures, whereas now it kind of feels like they have to have a little bit of prestige to get something past just a Tomy. Ever since it started, the Trainer Select line has become the benchmark for excellence in Pokemon toys. Number four had to go to Typhlosion. They did it. They gave me my favorite starter, possibly my favorite Pokemon, in a proper six inch scale. I have issues. His articulation isn't as good as it could be, especially when you compare it to how amazing and otherworldly that Charizard was, but Typhlosion still came out pretty well. Still a really awesome take on the character, on the Pokemon, and let's be fair, it's definitely the best figure Typhlosion's probably ever gonna receive. I adore this figure for what it is while still acknowledging that it does have some flaws, which is why it only just made it onto the Mount Rushmore of the year for me. Coming in at number three, it had to be this Flygon. I really love this Jazzwares Flygon. I did a whole review just gushing on it. It's probably the best figure they've done in this battle feature scale, and it helps that Flygon just doesn't get much. So getting a figure this nice of the guy really does feel like an extra special occasion, you know? Speaking of, yeah, they gave me my absolute low-key favorite Pokemon, Electabuzz. The Pokemon that somehow, despite never being on a playthrough team, very well might be on my top 10 Pokemon of all time. I got a really good figure of them now, thanks to Jazzwares and their line. I love this guy, I love his sculpt, I love his proportions, I love his face, I love the fact that they remembered his tail. It's such a good little Electabuzz. I would love an Electivire to go with it, 
but at the same time, I'm pretty happy just having this guy. Finally, for me, the number one Pokemon figure of the year that I picked up had to be the Trainer Select Suicune. Not since Charizard and Articuno have I been as impressed with a Trainer Select figure. I adore this thing, it makes me so excited for when we get Entei, and it feels so nice that Suicune, one of the low-key most important ex uh, legendaries in all of Pokemon, has such a great action figure to its name at long last. Between the Trainer Select line and their more kid-oriented gimmick lines, Jazzwares has done a phenomenal job with the Pokemon license this year, and I'm so excited to see what other Pokemon we're getting, especially because one of the first Pokemon figures I might find in 2024 is going to be a 6-inch Garchomp. Please, I don't know, Jazzwares, why you're trying to convince me to love you, but you, you already have my heart. You're already doing great. But with all that said, it was a great year of Pokemon. I'm so happy to have been able to share this top 10. And hey, we'll see if we potentially do another Pokemon list down the line.